Okay, Senator Bewley. Thank you very much. Um, uh, as we're into our closing our fourth hour here, there's a few things that are coming to to light for me that are pretty consistent um, that WEDIC um, is able to not follow statutes consistently, um, that we cannot count on reliable data that everyone can f believe they have faith in. I'm learning that there are kind of winners and losers, and, and I also want to then go to this culture, this hidden culture that I'm, I'm, I want to shine a little bit of light on. It is, it's surprising to me that there are two board members here that are testifying. So there are many board members that are not testifying. There are some board members who seem to have access to information that other board members do not. It, it, do you believe that the board is a reflection of um, of some people who do have access to information of a of, I don't want to say a secret society because that's far too dramatic but but a culture where some there's insiders and outsiders is is the board constituted the same way I mean there's no one here else that I can ask. Uh, I am not sure I would characterize it that way. I would say that the board uh, for whether it was BCI um, or some of the other uh, news accounts that have come out, the uh, investigative reports, uh, we weren't told about, uh, about BCI uh, until after uh, it hit the press. I mean, and the report that uh, when uh, the board was given information about the fact that we were going to be writing off the BCI loan because they figured it was not going to be um, uh, collected, it was one line. That was the information that we got. And I think the, the problem has been uh, is that board members are not informed of information until there's a, about to be a story that's going to pop in the press uh, or it, it, the uh, news comes out and that's when the board learns of it. And I can tell you that I've talked to one board member who um, uh, has considered resigning because he's concerned about his, his own personal and business reputation in being connected with the WEDC and uh, just some of the stories that have come out. Um, and I know that when um, the uh, chief legal counsel uh, was talking about BCI and that we had a long board discussion about it, um, that, that long board discussion was maybe about 20 minutes uh, and the reason why it went on that long is because Representative Barca and I, as well as one other board member, had asked questions. Um, and that was after the fact. And that's when I asked, well, why was Ryan Murray continuing to look for uh, funding for BCI even after they found out that a Maserati uh, luxury car dealer uh, had called to say that uh, the owner of that company had said that they were going to be getting uh, state money and that he was going to be paying off his debt. Mm -hmm. Why were they still continuing to look? Why was the COO of WIDA continuing to look for, for money for this company when they knew the jobs weren't, that jobs weren't going to be created uh, and that it was going to pay off his loans? I did not get an answer to that. They said they did not know why their COO was continuing to pursue money for that company when um, they knew there was a problem. And the fact is, is that it's very frustrating uh, for uh, me as a board member as well as I know for Representative Barca, where we do not get access to the information or we find out after a reporter uh, asks us a question. Um, and. Uh, and we we still don't have uh, information um, like with Greenbox. Uh, Chairman Coles asked about that. Uh, they had invited Greenbox as uh, as late as this year to participate in a, a trade trip to Tanzania. You know, even though that that uh, Greenbox is being investigated, and it might be something like a Ponzi scheme or a check kiting organization. Let so me add one thing, if you don't mind. I mean, you used the word earlier, 
uh, in regard to some testimony that you heard. You said it's just shocking. Yeah. Unfortunately, I feel like that all too often serving on this board. And for board members, things should not be shocking uh, on a regular basis. 